Okay, guys, before this video starts, I want to get, you know, we're growing now, so I want to get my community chat lit because I need somebody to talk to. I need fans to talk to because I get bored throughout the day. So, guys, join up this Discord server, guys. This is my Nano Project community Discord server, and once you do, go ahead and join my Roblox group too because I'm losing members because I guess people were always just in it for the Robux. But just join my group too because I'm going to do a lot of things with my group. As you can see, there's a lot of ranks here. Um, I'm gonna drop some merch and it better be selling like a god church. Okay, back into the video. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Nino back in another video and today we are doing the top five ninjutsus on Shinobi Life. I just want to clarify real quick, I would have done the top 5 modes before making this video, but the thing is, Akarius, aka Sweet Pea, already made a video on it. You might be thinking, Nano, you could still make a video on it, it's not like it's an original idea, anybody could have thought about the top 5 modes, but the thing is, how Akarius ranked his um, modes is exactly like how I would have ranked mine, like, no lie guys, I don't know how, May you know, great minds think alike, you know what I mean? <laughs> But anyways, guys, I'm going to link his video in the description if you want to see the top five modes instead of me making one just because Akarius and mine, um, our rankings were exactly the same. So I'm not going to bother to waste a video for you guys when you can see Akarius. Okay, guys, um, we're going to go straight into the top five ninjutsu of Shinobi Life. Okay, so we have subscribers here, guys, and ASF. ASF's channel will be in the description. He makes Shinobi Life videos. Um, he's going to be a test dummy, and then we have subscribers here for, you know, the um to show you guys that these jutsus one shot or at least some of them are capable of one shotting so we have like you know average level subscribers here you know these are your average joes you find on shinobi life so you'll know that these jutsus got you fit and then we also have this max level just to show you guys what these um jutsus do to the max level so okay guys moving into number five now guys i just want to say right now there's really anything could have been number five guys because let's be honest here guys the meta played in shinobi life is just reliant on your Taijutsu, your Genjutsu, and your Gen -Gen -Gen -Gen. You really only need like two or three Jutsus in Shinobi Life. That's how the meta is played. So I couldn't really find anything. You know, I couldn't find anything for number five. Top four is definitely cop, definitely cop. But number five, I just gotta say it goes to this Golden Sand move. Okay, guys, it goes to this sneaky Golden Sand move just because. It's not good for 1v1, but if you're out trying to kill noobs or sneak attack on somebody training, guys, this is the best way to go. Kill somebody AFK, watch this. Boom. Golden Sand move. You're dead, pal. Boom. You see that? All dead. And these are, you know, your average of Shinobi Life. You'll find them. Just in case you want to do it to an AFK high bounty player, you can go ahead and do it too. Like ASF, don't block. It's not going to one-shot ASF entirely, but it's still going to get the job to look. Boom. And then all you have to do is just keep on attacking him. It does way more damage. I don't know why the last one didn't hit or the last two didn't hit. But it did, it does way more damage, guys. I'll do it again to show you. Okay, guys. We're going to show the move one more time. Let's hope our aim is on this time to show you. That boom. Takes a set to that. And you can start your fight there. Because, like, what you know, if he's AFK for one second, he's like, oh, my God, what the heck? Or maybe somebody can find some cheese. Some stun cheese where this is able to hit when your opponent stuns. So maybe somebody will find cheese one day with this move. But this is at number five. Like I said, anything could have been at number five. But, you know, I chose this move just because. Okay, guys, coming in at number four. Now, I don't think people use this move, but it's the last Iron Sand move. My boy Roots Defiance hit me up with this move right here. Now, this move, oh my god. When I tell you this is sexy, this move is sexy. You want to make sure you have the, let's see. The third Taijutsu one. Third Taijutsu, right? Boom. Last Iron Sand move. Boom. They're they're done for. Like, honestly, they're done for. Look. look. Boom. 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 Okay, so you already know, guys, this move is out here, all right? You can catch them unexpected. Like, a okay, maybe ASM knew it was coming, but still. You know, you're probably wondering, oh my god, Nano. High tier players would have subbed out of it. Well, guess what? That's why this Jutsu is ranked at number four. Because um, this move takes skill. You need to combo up with this move if you really want to do something with it. Okay, guys. Coming in at number three. It's unexpected. Yes, unexpected. But it's the second to last win move, guys. When I say this move is good and the second best auto tracker in the game. Besides the next move I'm about to show you. Number two on the spot. This is the second best auto tracker in the game, guys. This win move. It's controllable win. And trust me, guys. 
I, I at least get one hit on the opponent in fights with this move. One hit is all that needs. So, I'm going to show you guys right now what it does to these levels. Boom. 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 Almost one-shots them. It actually does one-shot them, but I wasn't aiming it correctly. And plus, you know, in normal scenarios, you're not really going for a one-shot. ASS right here. Watch this, pal. Boom. It's unexpected. That much damage. It's, it's a good move. It's really a good move. Okay, guys, coming in at number four, it's the Gold Sand Vortex move. Come on, guys. Best auto tracker in the game. You're at least going to guarantee a, to get one hit. One hit is all it needs to get a job done in a normal spar. Look at this. Boom. One hit off. You're guaranteed to get one hit off. Best auto tracker in the game. Show you what it does to these levels right here. Controllable. It's a Vortex move. Look at that. It's really good at close range, honestly. Boom. This move isn't in there because it's one shot potential, but it's just because you're guaranteed to at least get a hit every time. I'm pretty, come on guys. I'm pretty sure everybody has this in its arsenal, in their arsenal at least, you know? It's a very good close range move to use. All right guys, coming in at number one, you already know what time it is. You already knew it. To those of you who predicted it, yeah, anybody could have predicted it. Guys, it, it's the two iron sand wave moves. You guys cannot tell me this, even ASF has to block it guys, like. Come on, guys. This is this is the best move in the game. Like, this is probably the only jutsu I will use in battle. Okay, let me take that back. This isn't the only jutsu I'll use in battles. I, I use the wind move and I use the gold sand vortex move. But, guys, this is what you will see everybody use in the battle, guys. You cannot stop this iron sand way, bro. You are forced to block every time. You are forced to block every time. This move is overpowered. When I say it's overpowered, I say this move is overpowered. Everybody knows about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this top five ninjutsu videos. Um, I don't really know any other top five things in Shinobi Life. Leave in the comment section below what should top five I should do next. Because I honestly, I can't think of any. If you guys can think of something, then I will do it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more Shinobi Life videos. Other than that, it's been your boy Nano, and I'm out. Peace.